Good day to everybody and welcome back to our channel. We've got another property tour of this modern jewel coming over to you with me as your presenter once again. And the beauty about this house, it's actually one of the recent listings that we have in the Marbella area, a hidden gem listed at 6 million euros. And the fact is, I haven't even been inside the house. A colleague of mine said, listen, you have to do a property tour on this house. That's why I'm here. And I thought, let's do it a little bit differently. Let's experiment and I'll go inside the house with you guys for the first time. I haven't been inside, I have no idea about distribution. I just know that it's a plot of 1,600 square meters. We've got over 900 square meters built, six bedrooms in total, six million euros, which is really attractive for such a modern big house, completely furnished apparently. And it's got a billion of gadgets that I have no idea about. So, hope you like the idea. It would be interesting to see how sort of a different property tour. It's not going to be so much of the wow, amazing. It's more like the real walkthrough together with me, like how I do it on the day to day to get to know the property when we list it and when we see it before recommending it to you. My feeling just from the pictures I've seen and from the description is that it is an attractive property. Definitely YouTube modern style. Really fancy to see it. So let's go to the other side and start a property tour. And of course, we start right at the beginning. Pedestrian enters car drives in, got this pretty much big platform that allows us to maneuver with the property. I've been promised that this is a very special house in terms of qualities used, architectural solutions, interior design as well. So I'm really looking forward to check it out. Well, first of all, we've got a beautiful view of the La Concha mountain, which is stunning. La Concha is known to give special protection from the north wind to Marbella. And that's why Marbella is told to have a special microclimate, different 20 kilometers to either side of the town. So the cars park over here, logically, we've got this pretty cool modern pergola, which at the moment is completely open, but you can put a glass on top of it, no problem at all. There's a further entrance into the garage at the farther part of the plot, which takes us 100% to the garage. And a very interesting facade. I love the use of white marble on the facade. It's much more practical, doesn't need any maintenance and looks awesome and gives an extra value to the house rather than paint. You can tell immediately that this is, you know, quality wise and it, it's a much bigger investment. Nice detail as well of the contrast with the darker color. I love the palm trees, really cool. They're completely lineal and perfect. Further marble all around the walls. Normally people don't do that. That's a place where many owners um, save money. Actually, I can already kind of get a feel that probably this house was built for themselves and not for sale, just from those little details. We've got a separate entrance, which definitely leads us probably into like the kitchen area or something like that. And the main entrance where I'm standing. So. Ready to check it out? This pergola has a glass on top for protection. And then if you want, 100% no problem, you can put another glass over the parking, which is for three cars minimum. And nice enough maneuvering as well. Doggy and this water element as well. I love it. <laughs> There's no fountains involved. It's just a bit of water. Gives that nice sensation to the entrance. Well, let's check it out then. Nice door, proper four meters height. And then we come in to the house. We have a bit of a double height in the entrance. Glass on both sides so we can see the water once again. Okay, so we've got marble on the floor, most likely. Nice shape, nice size as well. I like this detail pretty much the moment you walk in. You have this wall created which doesn't allow me to see the views and look into the living room as well, which for privacy, I think is great. If you're in the living room, doing your own stuff, there's guests coming in. You don't want the person to open the door and immediately see what's happening in the living room. And the solution, how they did it, instead of putting like the typical wall with these openings and the LED lights inside of the um, wood, is pretty cool as well. Nice LED lighting in the ceiling, wardrobe space for the entrance, and let's carry on. The main living room, of course. Okay, well, <laughs> this is really funky. Cool details, love it, very nice. Double height, almost, more like a height and a half. I'd be guessing we've got about four and a half 
meters. I like the solution that apart from the windows, which are on, on both corners as well, so you get lots of natural light. You've also got this window above just for more extra light into the room. Feels very spacious. It's not massive, but really comfy and great space. And I can already see that the outdoor space is fantastic. That's what, that's the most important. That's where you want to be. We'll get to that immediately. I love how the solution of the staircase is not a typical solution. Normally, 99% of the times, the architects tend to hide the staircase, like in the passageway or something like that. And here, it is done really, really cool. Hey, doggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. It's part of the decoration of the living room and gives that differentiation as well. Big rug, we've got a chimney which probably is ethanol nice natural stone and we get into the dining slash main kitchen big really big actually dining table even too big that you would expect but i mean yeah you, you, <laughs> there's plenty of space that's why as well nice high of the ceiling as well we've got at least almost like 290 which is perfect floor to ceiling windows very thin aluminium in the windows as well which is great for the views. Kitchen, pretty cool. I love this, well, quite a typical bar solution, which works fantastically, so you can integrate yourself if someone is cooking over here. Gas cooker, that's a great plus addition, apart from the typical one electric. Lots of clients prefer the gas cooker. Um, I don't know, I'm not a cooking guy myself, but it seems like it gives a better effect. Okay, so pretty much full equipped kitchen. You've got everything you want. Appliances, double fridges there, wine cellar. This is the entrance that we spoke about before. Connects to the parking immediately. Everything is pretty cool. We've got domotic system, which seems to control lights, air conditioning, blinds, floor heating, pretty much everything. And this gadgets are pretty cool. Very easy to maneuver. Okay, so if I may, excuse me. Let's carry on. Nice detail as well. They've got these doors integrated in the wall so you can close off for privacy. Works fantastically. Entrance into the basement. That's a little wardrobe space next to the entrance. Fantastic. Um, so the owner asked me not to show the office. I presume, and I can already kind of guess that the office is through this door. So I'm not gonna show, but it's apparently a pretty good proper office. You can see in the pictures as well later on. Guest toilets over here, very nice. And we get to one of the bedrooms on this floor. Well, really good solution that they've got the windows on the corner, lots of light. The blinds are electric and they're controlled from domotic system. We saw that. Beautiful olive tree as well. Very nice landscaping. And here we get access to one of the two big covered porches outside which actually, because I'm also trying to sort of figure out how to go through the house the most efficient way, <laughs> so we don't go, end up going through all the property every single time and see it the quickest way as possible without even knowing how it works. So great outdoor seating area. This place is fantastic. I mean, if you can see it from there, but the perception, first of all, in Marbella, you need a lot of covered space. And the really cool thing about this is that you've got the pool in front of you, sort of elevated. And I like how this kind of area is over, over standing on the pool. But take a look at this. I mean, I told you I was gonna be more practical, not so many wow things, but this is really impressive. This is like over 20 meters, 100%. I love this also green, big tiles in the pool. I think that also gives a lot of Cachere in Spanish to the house. Beautiful, beautiful. And then that looks like a probably shower solution, which is pretty cool. Actually, let's go there and we check out the facade as well. Beautiful olive tree. Doggy, we're coming. And I didn't say it, but everything in this video is one take. 100%, I promise. So even if we constantly cutting stuff, it's everything one take, no matter what happens. Yes, exactly. This is a really cool shower solution. Check it out. So the water probably comes all the way through here. You've got your gadgets to control over here. And it's kind of really cool. I like the color. It's integrated with all the gardening and everything. So that's awesome. 
got some nice trees on this side and wow i mean beautiful beautiful facade i definitely love marble or many other solutions on the facade of the house it changes the sensation of the property completely completely just that detail over here so we can already see kind of a big solarium up there i'm doing a bit of tricks because i can see there's two bedrooms over here which by the size of the windows those are probably kids bedrooms and by that i can already probably guess that that is the master bedroom in its own corner which is accessed from the middle which is kind of the logical distribution i mean when you've seen 100 or 500 or 1000 houses it's difficult to not know your way around even though some houses do surprise you still so what do we have here okay so this is like another bedroom normally we wouldn't show this one first so you want to run through the main bedrooms this is like a guest quarter which is awesome actually to have this guest quarters of this side this quality same qualities of the house beautiful and it's completely separated from the property which is amazing i mean you have guests for noise for everything spectacular check out the size you've got i mean beautiful view really cool detail yeah i haven't paid too much attention to the furnishing actually because i was so trying to get everything in so quick okay got the wardrobe solution over here blinds throughout i can see the electric cable for the blinds, so everything is domoticized 100 percent and oh wow wow check this out don't forget i love this kind of i know i'm not an expert but like more bali style bathrooms things like that beautiful got nice wallpaper big bathtub views double vanity really awesome and you're gonna yourself if we kind of juggle around now you're gonna walk yourself into the shower which is amazing look at it glass glass so you're kind of showering like as if you're in the outside i love this i've there's a few developers i spoke up to and i was insisting like you have to do this solution it's i mean so simple right instead of putting the uh, ceiling you just put glass okay perfect lucky me we can still carry on without repeating rooms or areas okay um there's something up there but uh let's check it out from the view of the bedrooms okay so here we've got the barbecue area pretty cool this works fantastic to give you more shade nice bar area the outdoor spaces I love. Also think about it, the plot's 1,600 square meters. So it's not such a big plot, but it's actually being utilized to the maximum. It's completely flat. I mean, they managed to stick such a huge pool in there. That's a selling point there. Wow factor, immediately unique. And then not only that, but we have a really big space forecast down here to maneuver. And there's the garage under the guest bedroom. Marvelous. Let's carry on. Another big porch. Also another thing I noticed that guests can access this terrace from the parking without going through the house, which is great. We get back into this living room area we've been already. And let's take go upstairs. Mm hmm this is pretty cool as well actually this i'm not even sure what it is i think it's just well um yeah probably uh, i would be guessing maybe i'm wrong but i think it's kind of some type of paint directly on cement Okay, so we are on the second floor. Beautiful views of La Concha once again. Lots of light as you can see, so it's a really luminous property. Cool details of the ceiling as well with this industrial touch, which is so popular nowadays. Beautiful paintings, great sitting area outdoor here, like a solarium with a further access. We'll check that out. But let's start with the master, which was on this side, most likely. Okay, follow me along. Ethanol chimney, big bedroom, bed is centered right in the middle. 
I like this wall that is created to put the bed against. That way we put it right in the middle, not to the corners. And then we hide the bathroom and the wardrobe solution. Your own private, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Good that I came here actually. Okay, sliding windows of course. And we get to the terrace. Nice, your own private terrace. Then the kids' bedrooms probably have their own. And from here we can see this detail. Oh, wow, that's glass. Well, I guess you can walk on it, <laughs> otherwise. Okay, beautiful, fantastic, take a look at this. Jacuzzi, your own little corner, sunbathe on your own, away from everyone else, and a beautiful view to your property. What an amazing pool. Truly one of a kind, I mean, such a pool. Wow, and don't forget, it's a six million house. I mean, we started our YouTube channel from the beginning I don't know if you've been following around, but we started by touring the most expensive houses that there are in Marbella for sale. Um, but we were discussing it with the team. I mean, there are so many also amazing houses, five, six, seven, four million. And this truly is really beautiful. I like how they decorated everything to the last detail. Um, the natural wood on the floor in the bedrooms, I'm a huge fan as well. Take a look that this is the, Ah, there you're gonna catch me, because <laughs> now you know it's first take. Because if I don't remember how it's called, I'll Google it. Because my English is my third language, actually. So, but uh, in Spanish it's called rodapies. I'll Google it, I'll put it in the comments. But uh, this is not the typical solution. Usually you would have the wood coming over here. And it's more like a modern uh, thing that I see in many houses nowadays. And even, I don't know if it's done here or not, but in many cases you can actually install a LED light as well. So at night you're in the bed and the lead goes through the floor, which is really cool. Okay, we've got speakers as well in the bedrooms. Of course, air conditioning is individual for every single room, 100%. I don't even need to ask for that. We've got the water closet over here with a window. That is so important. I can't believe I see houses, 10 million euros, with a toilet in a master bedroom without a window. I mean, I don't know, I go to the bathroom, so <laughs> double vanity. As I mentioned, we have this great detail. So this is actually created by the wall that was done for the bed. Therefore, it's private, but also very accessible. Oh, wow. And we've got lots of natural light coming from the ceiling through the glass with further LED details as well. So that's again, that's so awesome. You're standing here in the shower. I love the um, ceramic tiles, this type of tiles in the showers, in the bathrooms. They're really cool. Uh, kind of that more like a stone uh, sensations. So you're standing here, you're showering, and there's a stone double huge shower right in the middle. Completely glass, by the way, another important detail. And you've got the sky above you. That's quality. Okay, okay, so this is another toilet. Beautiful, so two toilets, of course, logical. And we've got the walking closet. Okay, fantastic, great stuff. Okay, this is, there's something here then. Oh wow, okay, this is some technical stuff. This is um, like a mini lift to bring in stuff from the basement or something like that. But it's not like, it's like a proper lift that brings in heavy stuff. Suitcases, things like that. But, right, I, I love that. I haven't seen that in many houses, but yeah, huge wardrobe, fantastic. I love that detail, actually. I haven't seen that in a single house. It doesn't cost anything. I mean, you come with your car, you're tired, you've got luggage, stick it there, it comes up. Or you have a full-time person who just juggles all your luggage around as well, of course. <laughs> well, let's leave that for a bit later and let's check out the other bedrooms quickly. Um, Okay, okay, nice. Hallway carries on. Extra wardrobe space. There's never enough wardrobe space in a house, believe me. So this is fantastic. And then we get into the bedroom. Another different solution, actually. Not many bathrooms I've seen like this. Kind of integrated with the shower and toilet area hidden. Another skylight, beautiful. I love the skylights, especially done like this. So you see the skylight is not done on the level of the false ceiling, but it's done on the other side at the far end of the structure. 
therefore giving more sensation of amplitude. Okay, great bedroom, not too big, not small. You've got full line of wardrobe space as well. Access to your own terrace, which is shared with the other bedroom, which I saw from the garden. Uh, possible TV, a bit of study area, so important for kids. Okay, boxing gloves, love it. Let's carry on. Okay, lots of windows. Oh, here we have a sliding, oh yeah, we have sliding doors in both bedrooms. It depends what you like more. Save space, same copy of the bathroom, same copy of the bedroom, logical. Perfect, sound system as well. I mean, yeah, that's, that's more than you need. So we've got three bedrooms in the main property at the moment. I guess there's no bedrooms upstairs. So it's just going to be solarium. And then we have the bedroom, which is number four, which was the guest bedroom outside, right? So that's four bedrooms above ground, which is perfectly fine and correct. From the window sheet, I know there were six bedrooms in total. So there probably will be two more in the basement. Really cool also this air conditioning solution. Um, really trendy. I've seen it in a couple of houses rather than the usual lineal ones, which you see always. Okay, should I go upstairs? <laughs> Why don't you go from that side if the mic doesn't break? And let's check out what we have here. Okay. Yeah, I thought it wasn't connected, so I didn't want to go like in the both places. Okay, okay. So yeah, basically there's not much here. This is the uh, chimney structure. Um, and there's basically just two big solarium plus this one that you can upgrade and do whatever you want. I can see this pre installation for water, electricity, so barbecue. Um, yeah, so if you want to be closer to the sun for that perfect sunbathe, you got two spots. Okay, well, let's carry on to the basement. Awesome bicycle solution. I mean, yeah, really nice. No, no, the house works very well. It's very logically correctly distributed. And the fact that they didn't place any bedrooms above the living room is what allows us to have this height, which I think is fantastic. I mean, yeah, you're right in the middle of the house. Got two covered porches. This was pretty cool. We didn't go through here. Okay, oh wow, so <laughs> they're kind of floating. So they, 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 these um, steps, they are connected with the structure to the house. So they're kind of floating and it's just about the pool. So all this water, you're kind of sitting here. That's really cool, awesome. Ah, beautiful, really, really. No, I'm not exaggerating. And if you think about the market nowadays, how it is, um, there's actually a huge shortage of stock of properties that are modern, that are brand new, and that can be uh, moved in very fast. And uh, the demand is actually higher than the amount of properties that we have. We have a real shortage at the moment. So therefore, I think that this house is, is absolutely, should be on your list if you're looking for a modern house in Marbella area for around 6 million euros only. <laughs> now let's check out, let's go to the basement. So the basement, haven't seen it yet. Um, well, it's a six million house. So I'm guessing there is, I've already seen this pretty big garage over there. I'm guessing there will be maybe some living space. I can see a wine cellar. There won't be any spa, probably. Maybe some storage room, maybe a gym. Well, actually I can see pretty much everything already. I don't know why I'm guessing it's all here. Wow, wow, that is awesome. That is really cool. You have to be careful with the isolation. I've had a few clients with leakage problems and then it's such a headache to solve it. But if you do it properly, which I sure is done here, you can tell, then it's a really cool wow factor in your kind of living room space. Imagine this space without that, without the light. It would be completely a different sensation. They, see, they carry on with the same concept of the wall that was above as if it's going through the house, right? Even though now it's kind of a different color. Wood on the flooring, wonderful. It's really cool, got DJ set as well. Some lights, actually can do a podcast here or something. Okay, 
cool cool now again this uh glass solution for the garage gives even more lights fantastic and even if the door is closed of the garage you can actually see that they also put some glass in the storage in the garage door there's a further glass over there that you'll see at the moment so even if the garage door is closed this spaces feel so luminous so much light it's fantastic love it and it's really smart how they've done it here i mean it's a six million house as well keep that in mind but um, yeah they've got pretty much everything here i mean many owners or developers ask me what do you put in the basement sometimes you go in the basement and there's like half of the house is hidden in the basement so i was thinking maybe you come here and it's going to be massive it's not too big it's the right proportion all the rooms are fantastic but more and more i say that forget about the cinemas that's like old style you don't want to have like a proper prop i mean if it's a 30 million house it's a different story that kind of level you have to have just tick all the boxes but if you're a developer and you're looking what to do either this or either that my personal opinion for what it's worth is forget about the cinemas forget about all the indoor heated swimming pools just hit the outdoor pool you want to be out there in the sun all the time not in your basement plus all of that gives you so much humidity then the spa not a must costs a lot of money and if you haven't done the indoor heated swimming pool then forget about the spa maybe or even I mean, if it was my house, I would do the spa outdoor, but you don't see that a lot. And then definitely garage is like probably nowadays, even the most important for modern houses, which the price level is starting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's my stuff. That's really awesome. <laughs> Just to finish garage nowadays, from what I'm seeing is like the number one thing that people who are buying this kind of houses, because think about it, the age of the client is decreasing. We are working more and more with clients who are 30 year old, 40 year old, 45 and so on, buying these houses and they give importance to cars, more or less, but they mostly do. So it doesn't have to be a massive garage, but a big garage is so important. I used to do a bit. Um, cool continuing with the same thing i mean this is awesome oh my <laughs> this is awesome this is a proper gym i love that they put natural wood in the gym and they did not uh cheapen it by putting some things like this all around or anything like that okay so we've got a sauna really nice not too big glass as well so you have all the amplitude that's a potential massage room where you bring it out here and it's a proper bathroom as well. Again, love the decoration, the wallpaper, all the solutions. I mean, if, you, if you're not a boxing fan, which there's not many, probably, you can just take this out and it's huge. Or, but you don't have to be a boxing fan. I mean, nowadays with all the um, uh, training without weights there's so many things that you can do with combined with boxing which is awesome okay this is really cool so that's the machinery room 100 percent because it's a special fire door that you have to install obligatory so you have to look in there guest toilet is cool okay so basement was pretty much easy i was worried okay wow wow no i'm surprised i'm really really happy that my colleagues told me to to do this house. I mean, look at it. This is a perfect example how you don't need to spend a lot of money to do something that is different, that is cool, that is, and gives value to the house. Things like this, I tell you, 100% this house was built by the owners for themselves. And then for some reason, they decided to put it for sale. 100% well maybe not but you know okay okay fantastic laundry beautiful size separate entrance lots of light the basement is done beautifully in terms of light and everything so this is bedroom number five right I'm actually missing number six then hopefully didn't forget anything floor ceiling windows so much light nice detail in the full ceiling to give a bit more of amplitude so we're about 265 there and maybe 280 in the center which for a basement is great okay shower toilet 
air conditioning control got wardrobes this is the garage okay so i lost bedroom number six that's terrible careful with the stairs yeah definitely lost it <laughs> um yeah look at this check it out ah this lead strips coming from the floor wall connecting with the ceiling is awesome <laughs> love the painting motorbike stuff the technical room yeah these people they love motorbikes and cars and everything there's a further garage over here beautiful space amazing awesome property yeah definitely so we had oh no excuse me very much you're right we had three bedrooms upstairs we had one bedroom the first one i went to on the ground floor that's number four we had the bedroom guest bedroom number five and that's the bedroom number six that we had over here so that's pretty much everything then covered thank you so much i hope you enjoyed it and if you like this property tour you can check out the one that i did with eric conova who flew in from new york and i did the same experiment i showed him the house that he has not seen before to the showing so i was showing it to him and it was his first time if you like the style that's actually experimenting check out this video over here with him came through new york for that thank you very much